So the news this week was that the, uh, the Park MGM would be opening sometime within the next 30 to 45 days. We also have the Tropicana coming up to open soon, but a couple of hotels are still closed. Why are they closed? There's a lot of conspiracy theories. The people that hate Las Vegas, that for some reason watch every single video that I make, if you hate it, why are you here? They'll tell you that they don't, uh, they say Vegas is done for, it's finished. They're not open because there's no business. Nobody's here. It's a hell hole, it's a cesspool, but that's probably not the case. At least I don't think it's the case. We're gonna talk today about why that might be that these hotels are not actually open or they're opening and they're staggering. I think it's more of a business decision, but you can tell me in the comments below what you really think and Vegas haters are gonna be here too so you can read all their crackpot theories about it. I say crackpot because there's way too much value built into the city trillions of dollars of real estate that's been developed over the last 65 years for it to really just disappear overnight just like that. It's like an elephant doesn't get a flu and then just fall over unless there's some version of C-19 for elephants, in which case, maybe? Anyways, uh, my name's Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the button for the future notifications. Now, uh, if you guys want to support the channel, free ways to do it, go over to the Facebook group called Not Leaving Las Vegas. You'll be asked three separate questions about not using politics, not posting ads, and do you agree and answer all those three, and you're in like Flynn, as they used to say. Is that a term we can use today? If you know the if you know the in like Flynn reference, post it below, but uh, it's kind of a shady reference you couldn't use today. If you guys also want to support, we have Patreon, and we have the channel memberships on YouTube. You'll get new access and content. When I can create it, I'm having some severe technical issues. We also have VegasFaceMask.com. It's only two masks you'll ever need. Speaking of casinos, I got my casino mask on right now, two for 25, made by my wife, shipped out to you. They make a great gift, and I appreciate you being here with me on this journey that we have called Las Vegas for the last 19 or 20 months. Okay, so question is, why is it that all the hotels didn't just open up all at once? Makes no sense. And even back in the a uh, few months ago, there was all these rumors going around Facebook. Somebody would post something to the effect of, hey, I talked to my friend. He's a casino host, high-level executive type. Did you know that the uh, Mandalay Bay is not going to open up until August of 2021? What? No. No, that never happened. And I even debunked those rumors here because it was just ridiculous, redonkulous, stupid, and silly. No, right now, all but a few hotels are open. I'm going to name some of them. If I miss a hotel that's actually not open, you guys can tell me below. But right now, the Tropicana is not open. The Park MGM is not open. The Planet Hollywood is not open. The Cromwell is not open. And the Rio is not open. When do they open? Well, first of all, you can't go to the booking site and say that they're going to open. I've said this before. In Las Vegas, if you think it's going to happen, you don't know if it's going to happen unless one of two things have ha happened a lot of happenings. Either number one, it's actually happened in real life and you can actually walk through the property. Or number two, there has been a press release that's put out by the property itself. Press release by the property goes out to the major news outlets that lets people know that they're confident enough to be able to open. For example, the Link Hotel. I think it's opening this weekend. If it's not already, they're taking reservations just on the weekends, just like how the Venetian or the Palazzo, that is the Palazzo is doing. But until that, we didn't know it was just a rumor. Planet Hollywood was telling people way back in May that they'd be opening in the middle of May. People said, see, Stephen, we have proof. You don't know what you're talking about. Casinos are opening in May. Of course, casinos didn't open until June. And then throughout June, July, August, even September now, people have been telling me, Stephen, you don't know what you're talking about. I can go book a room at Planet Hollywood tonight for three weeks from now. Okay, well, just know they'll probably change your reservation. So why are they playing all these little kinds of games? Well, I think it's just because a lot of the properties out here have a lot of employees and there's not the maximum amount of tourists they wanna have. If we take a group of 10, 100 people, we take a group of 100 people and we give them 10 choices of hotels to stay at, you have a potential of having 100 people at one hotel, and none at the other nine. You also have the possibility of having 10 people at 10 hotels. But right now, these large corporations that own several properties, such as Caesars Entertainment, such as MGM Resorts International, I think they're just looking to make sure they maximize the amount of people that are in their properties, especially in the case of something like the park. Okay, get this, right? I don't have time for fancy graphics today, but if you're MGM Resorts International, you actually own the following. You own the Mandalay Bay, the Luxor, the Excalibur, the New York, New York, the park, the Aria. You also own the Vidara. You have licensing with the Waldorf Astoria, and you also operate the Bellagio. 
That's a lot of properties in a row. And if you look at that side of the street and you go across the street, one of the biggest properties in Las Vegas is the MGM Grand. Are you really confident that if you opened up the park, which is a fairly new brand to people, the, Mand uh, the Monte Carlo never broke any kind of records for occupancy anyways. It's not a hotel that has this signature Vegas vibe compared to the city center project, the New York, New York. Are you confident that by opening it and putting all those people back to work, you're gonna have a full house or people coming in? Or are you confident that you're already losing money on pretty much all of your properties in Las Vegas? So why would you go ahead and open up that one so you can lose a little bit more while people flock to the other properties around it, which are much more well-known? That's the case of a property that is owned by a company that owns a lot of different things and just wants to make sure that they have spread out the occupancy of the people that are here for the maximum amount of uh, profitability when they are open. I mean, then you take a look at the other side of the street. You have the Link. Now, the Link's casino has been open forever. It makes total sense. It had to open up. It's right on the entrance of the Link promenade that goes all the way to the back. It's right across the street from the Flamingo. They do have some entertainment going on there, but they have a lot of table gaming right at the front of the street at the entrance to the promenade where everybody kind of congregates. It makes a lot of sense that you want to open that property, but the hotel tower wasn't open. Same situation with the Link where we have a bunch of hotels all in a row owned by one company, Planet Hollywood, not open. We'll talk about that in a minute. You have the Paris, you have the Bally's, you have the uh, Cromwell, not open. We'll talk about that in a minute. You also have the Flamingo, and then you have the Link right there. On the other side of that, you have uh, the Venetian properties, and those are doing quite well too. Link is the least known, newest brand. Open it up, have the hotel open, have to pay staff, have to work with the culinary to make sure they get their hours. Probably better for you not to do any of that stuff either. So now the Link is opening up, uh, I think this weekend. One of the channel members here, Steve D, was there and he took pictures of them installing all of the uh, cattle things, you know, those little fabric, uh, I don't know what you call them, the, 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 human, the, the human cattle uh, guards that go up to the front desk so they can make sure people are all queued up in line properly. That was just a day or two ago and they say that they're open this weekend. Good. Well, we have to get to the other ones. What about the Cromwell? Well, Cromwell is a property that's incredibly unknown in Las Vegas to a lot of people, not to you possibly watching this video, but the Cromwell used to be the Barbary Coast in the day. Now that became Bill's. Now it's the Cromwell. They were filming a television show called Love Island there. Okay. So they wanted to quarantine people. Quarantine. I'm so tired of the word, aren't you? If you're tired of the word quarantine, just put it in the comments below. I think we all are a little bit tired of that. They wanted to quarantine a cast of people. I also heard they were filming this at the Rio. I looked a few entertainment websites said they were didn't make much sense to me So for a long time I said it didn't make sense. I guess I stand corrected. That's a retraction The Rio is also not open again That's another case in a property owned and not owned but operated by Caesars Entertainment They sold that property last year Why would you open up the Rio when you can't fill out all of your other properties? The Rio was a hotel for conventions like the Star Trek convention that was supposed to happen this year uh, The Rio was a place that had a bunch of convention space no conventions not enough tours in Las Vegas to fill up the Rio as well as their other properties. You just keep them closed for now. And then when we get to the point of the Tropicana, the Tropicana owned by Penn National Gaming, they've been in financial um, disarray for a while from my perspective. It's my opinion. That's allegedly, okay. They actually sold the Tropicana to a company that they formed to themselves so they could try to um, empty their asset sheet a little bit, their liability sheet, mind you. Uh, it was a liability to own that property. They hadn't opened it. Now they're opening it, but they laid a bunch of people off. The Tropicana sits on the end of the strip. There's nothing south of the Tropicana unless you go to the other side of the street and with no tourists coming in to watch Raiders games uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be very very busy they held off opening until September a lot of these properties are holding off until the very end of September October November to see how things go when kids go back to school and see if there's going to be another government stimulus check and see if the economy is improving around us so more people will come in but I think the important part of this video is to point out that you can't really look at conspiracy theory type things when you look at this you have to look at the idea that Maybe these properties are just taking a business approach. Uh, sometimes their business approach is heavy-handed and hurts folks, like when they lay off people in mass. But sometimes their business approach is more balanced. And unfortunately, in the case of Planet Hollywood, which I promised you we would get to, the business approach on Planet Hollywood may be just to sell the company outright. It looks like it could be up for sale. Nobody knows for sure. They do not have to disclose these things. All they have to do is make a release, and they'll probably do that through something like Forbes magazine or Bloomberg, which are giant, huge uh, news sources for business stuff. But when they do sell that property, 
it'll probably be a while, a while before it actually reopens. I mean, they're not gonna sell it to a new owner who wants to rebrand it and then do a rebrand while it's slow in Las Vegas. That would create a worse guest experience for people going in, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. So Planet Hollywood, I can't explain that one. It's a popular brand, it's a popular hotel, casino. The Miracle Mile shops around it makes it a tourist uh, draw right there. So I can't really explain that one, although I can think I can explain the other ones pretty well. But you tell me in the comments below what you think. It's important to me that you guys uh, give your voice and your opinion. You can also do that over on the Facebook group called Not Leaving Las Vegas. If you guys want to support the channel even further because, you know, you just really like the videos, you guys can head on over to the channel memberships. Click on join by the uh, button by subscribe uh, or where it would be. Uh, you can also do Patreon. We also have VegasFaceMask.com uh, with the only two masks you will ever need. I may a Facebook page yesterday. You probably can't find it. It's hidden in secret, but there it is. Two for 25. Anyways, with that, now's the time of the video where I have to go to work and I have to say three, two, one, click. So I'll see you on the strip tonight. Thank you guys so much. If you want to bump into me, I always like meeting people. And here we go with three, two, one, and click.